Yes boys, what is going on lads and welcome back to another video and another player review on the new Future Stars Jonathan David. I know Nick 2AT is happy right now, a Canadian special card and nonetheless Jonathan David, 330k, looks an absolute steal for this card, especially with a finisher chem style applied which we will go into soon. Remember boys as well, if you do go on to enjoy or get anything from a video, a like and sub, it does go a long way. But without further ado boys, starting off 5 foot 10, he's got high high work rates, right footed, Three star skill moves, which isn't insane, and skill moves are crucial for FIFA, so it is unlucky he is missing that uh, four star there, but he has got that five star weak foot, he can whack it in, no matter what foot, it'll just go in, like if it's on target, it will go in, and that's what I absolutely love about this card. As for attributes, he is rapid with a 94 pace, and like I said, you could go with, a, don't go with a hunter, but you could go with a hawk or something and max his pace out. But for me, we've gone ahead and gone with a finisher, putting him up to 89 attacking positioning. If he was on full chem, it would be 90. He's on 9, so let me actually just get a manager in here after we do this. But he'll be going up to 90 attacking positioning. He'll be going up to, I believe, 99 finishing, uh, 95 shot power. He'll go to no 89 volleys, and he will go to 91 penalties. But not only that, lads, he's going to be going to 98 agility, and he's going to be going to 88 balance. So from 88 agility and 83 balance to 98 agility and 88 balance will be a huge difference. His composure of 94 is phenomenal. He also goes to 99 dribbling as well. 99 dribbling is class. 94 stamina, 95 jumping, 89 hitting accuracy. He's got 83 strength as well, which isn't even bad considering he's 5'10", agile, fast, You'd expect him to not be that strong, but no, 83 strength and his 28 aggression. I can already tell that's that always gets me now and again. With strikers, it's not a massive deal, but it is noticeable. Whether he's going into a challenge or just putting pressure on, you can notice it. But honestly, it's not a stat that is, is massively crucial for a striker. As for player traits, please EA, a solid player trait, so not a finesse shot or anything like that. But overall, boys, this looks like a sensational card. We're starting this too, just to get him the full chem. Do not worry straight away. We will be bringing on the man himself, Cristiano Ronaldo, to pair him up front with Jonathan David. He's getting to review, lads. Is he worth it? We are playing champs because, you know, we like to live on the edge. I believe we... I, I don't even know we're recording champs. We've played like three or four games. I, I think we're on a free winning streak, three in a row. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I, I'm not too sure. But this is a solid team. Um, oh, so Varane, Mendy, Gomez, Larissa Nier and Tavernier, Red Madison. My team is definitely a lot better. So hopefully we can walk away with the win. Jonathan David. Let's see what he's got. Also, boys, if you don't know, we are using him in a 5 at the back. And before you say 5 at the back, oh, meter, rat, and all of that, we are playing very attacking-minded. So basically, we are playing my right wing backs both on get forward and join the attack and overlap. So Roberto Carlos and Semedo are working as wingers. We've got Fernandes on get forward, get into the box. Del Piero on get forward, get into the box. Kimmich on stay back, get into the box. David, stay central, get in behind, and stay forward. And Ronaldo, stay central, get in behind, and stay forward. So it's kind of more like a free a free 5-2 formation in a way. And like your wing backs push forward up. So it's a, it's very attacking in a way. Let's see what uh let's see what the game brings and let's see what Jonathan can do. Jonathan Davis actually there for it. Tate, beautiful touch. Touch against Conte. See if we could have break, uh, broken through there. We've, we've got Ronaldo on the pitch, which thank God. David recovers for us as well. What a workhouse man. High high work rates. Okay, I was going to say, there's no way. The servers today are off, but it's a good pass. This is the most odd servers I've played in. It's fast and slow and laggy at the same time. As you can see, Jonathan David making that run. That's his attacking AI, which is part of his positioning, his work rates, which he's going to be a very attacking player. Dow P, these servers are rapid, too fast for my liking. Go on, David. Nice little bridge. Time that. That is miles offside, isn't it? Yeah, it is offside, but still. Once again, I, he feels so smooth on the ball. His passing, I'm really digging at the minute. You know what? We're going to bridge past Mendy. Oh, his strength. That's where the strength is handy. We're going to keep going. What, that is jammy. Can he get an assist? So much jamminess here. One, David shouldn't have had the ball in that position. Two, Del Piero should be finishing that. <laughs> I don't even know what's happened there, but beautiful from David. That strength, that, like I said, that 83 strength to back him up is honestly crucial. Like, in those positions, he not only is he rapid, 
if he does get in contact with a fullback or with a centre back, he has a reliable amount of strength. Jonathan David. Going with 2 0 down, boys. There's no chance we're coming back from this. For Roberto Carlos. If there is any chance, we've got to bag it now. I was just going to say, let's go. It's far post with Roberto Carlos. Right, ultra attacking, 10 minutes left. Ultra attacking is literally like 10 depth. So, yeah, no, we can't get hit on the counter. I mean, well, there's hope, boys. There is hope. But still, that, is, that actually could have been David with that assist there. Go on. Bruno. Go on, Del Piero. Go on, Del Piero. Go on, Smato. Boateng. David. Please, David. Oh, my God. David. Oh, David's done it. Jonathan David. No way. Is he going to quit? Okay, he's not. I was going to say, if he's one of those. Dude. That's it. Oh, clutch moment. What an ultra attacking. I haven't even set my ultra attacking custom tactics up. So, boom. We are going to extra time, boys. Holy shit. Oh, Jonathan David, man. Was that an assist earlier? He's gotten a goal and an assist, boys. 2-0 down, 77 minutes in. I don't even care if we lose now. Jonathan David, two goals and assists within five minutes. Like, like I said, I hope we win, but my opponent is good, and I don't see it happening personally, but either way, Jonathan freaking David, man. We Sadly, we did take for Albert. Jonathan David, one goal, one assist, 8.6 out of 10. I feel like me and my opponent were, were quite equally matched. Um, we ended up losing 3-2 in extra time, which was very unfortunate, or 4-2 in the end because my opponent scored one last minute as well. Very un unfortunate. Obviously, Jonathan David still getting us into extra time with that assist to Roberto Carlos and that wonder goal. He, he ran into space and banged that into the bottom left, which was absolutely sensational. Lads, Jonathan David, for me, was... Nothing short of exceptional. Probably one of the best cards on the pitch. He outshined my Cristiano Ronaldo. He outshined my Bruno Fernandes. He outshined my Del Piero. So for me, lads, Jonathan David and Roberto Carlos, my two man of the matches today. So boys, starting off with the pros, obviously there will be another overview at the end of the video with the cards and pros and cons screen. But my brief thoughts on this card right now, he is rapid. The five-star weak foot for one. His high, high work rates is another. He was everywhere. Um, his shooting in general, like his pace, his shooting in general, his passing was very good. Dribbling as well, he felt brilliant on the ball, very, very responsive. And his 83 strength and his stamina, especially that strength. Like, not only is he rapid getting past the defenders, but he has that strength to back him up, which is what I absolutely love with this card. Now, his aggression, honestly, it didn't really phase me. It didn't really... I mean, it didn't really affect me whatsoever. It didn't come in as a con at all. I can't think of a single con with this card. That's a good thing, lads. So for the rating out of 10, 300k, card-wise, quality-wise, and performance-wise, we are going to go ahead and give him a 9.5 out of 10. For 300k, you've got a banging card there. He ticks all the boxes, work rates, 5-star weak foot. But okay, the one con would be his 3-star skill moves. But you just have to have to adapt to that. See, I've got mid boot Trigueno. I'm adapting to that, just obviously not using the skill moves. So... Like I said earlier, paired with Ronaldo, he is perfect because Ronaldo is a big body type, five-star skill moves, and Jonathan David is more a smaller, small, lean body type with three-star skill moves, but a rocket of a shot on him on either foot, the five-star weak foot. So overall, boys, a nine and a half out of ten, and obviously I'm going to say he's worth it. Absolutely sensational card. It's been your boy Davis. If this video did help you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Till next time, lads. I'll see you later.